how to make pottery. One. We are going to explain in this presentation how to make different kinds of pottery. This instruction presentation will help you develop a new hobby and also pottery can be designed into many things such as plates, mugs and bases. Our first tool here in our presentation is bricks such as wood, metal, rubber, plastic of all shapes and sizes. Second tool is carvings and cutting tools including felling knives, cut off wire, loop, ribbon, tools, needle tool. Our third tool is stamps and texture tools. This tool includes pattern rollers, rubber stamps, handmade bisque stamps and etc. Our fourth tool is brushes. Our fifth tool is sponges to soften the pottery. Our sixth tool is measuring devices to measure how much of the device you want to make. Our seventh tool is the rolling pin. I have a couple of warnings I need to tell you before we go on into our presentation. Our first warning is to take care not to get hurt using the tools because most potters mostly get hurt when using the tools as they are very sharp. Our second warning is to wear gloves for safety. Our third warning is do not touch the pottery after you finish it to let it dry and to leave it just leave it there without getting involved in it. Now we will go into the outline of the steps we need to take in order to make the pottery. Our outline has six steps. Our first step is to pick your clay. Our second step is to prepare your workspace. Third, third step is to make the pottery itself. And fourth step, fourth step is to dry and trim your pottery carefully. Fifth step is to bisque fire to your pottery. And sixth step is to glaze the pottery. Our first step is to pick our clay. Our clay includes three types of clay, such as earthenware, stoneware, and pro clay. Most potters use the type of clay depending on what exactly they want to make, such as mugs, plates, and bases. Our second step is to wet your clay on a surface to work out any air bubbles. Step two, you need to prepare your workspace before even starting your pottery making. Our first step to do that is to get a sturdy table with a surface that clay will not stick to. Our second step to do that is to cover your table in canvas fabric. Our third step to do that is to work around floors that are easy to clean. Next, set up some shelving or tables where your pots can sit undisturbed for drying reasons. Our fifth step to do that is to make sure you gather up all the necessary hand tools and equipment. Afterwards, step three, we need to make the pottery itself. First of all, you need to weight your clay. Second of all, shape the clay into a symmetrical bowl with both hands carefully. Our third step to do that is to slam the clay bowl into the center of the potter's wheel, which is the machine to do the pottery. Our fourth step is to wet your hands in water and start to center the clay while the wheel is in motion. So, uh, next is to cone the clay up and down to ensure it, it's centered. Next, make the hole in the center of the clay, then push your hand into the base. Next, repeat this motion until the walls of your pot are about one quarter of an inch. Next, detach your pot from the bat, the bat is the head of a pottery wheel, using a cutting wire. And finally, let it sit on the bat to dry. Step 4. Dry and trim your pottery. First of all, you need to remove the pottery from the bath and place it on a clean bath upside down to dry it. Second of all, anchor it to the bath center with wet clay and slowly turn the wheel while in motion. Finally, remove excess clay from the base and edges. Step 5. Best fire your pottery. First of all, you need to best fire to increase your pottery's durability and stability. And then, choose the temperature and the amount of time to bisque fire. Step 6. Glaze the pottery. First of all, you need to mix your glaze. Second of all, apply it to the bisque ware, then let it dry. And finally, load it into the kiln for the glaze firing. Then at the end, we were going to say the recap and summary of our presentation. We need to get all the provided tools and start working carefully. Very carefully. Second of all, we need to follow the steps in the sequence provided. 
to get the best results and be careful while using the tools to not get hurt. And finally, dry the pottery for a long period of time to harden it. And that's all for our presentation and thank you for listening.